Today we're gonna create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop and we're gonna use a gradient map to do some color grading and if you want to get this PSD file it's available on my Patreon and the Patreon link is in the description list below and also if you want to join my one-on-one -on -one session please do contact me and lastly if you love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet then please do subscribe my channel and without any further ado let's dive into the video. all right so here we go we're in photoshop and very first thing let's create an artboard and for that press ctrl and n and i'm going for 4 by 5 let's keep the resolution as 300 color mode to rgb bitrate to 8 and let's keep everything as default and let's click and create and then right after that let's drag and drop our very first image right over here Press Ctrl and T, holding Shift and Alt. Let's make it a little smaller. Yep, maybe somewhere around here. And let's keep it somewhere over here. All right. And then after that, let's go to Filter. Let's go to Camera Raw Filter. Let's do some color adjustment. And uh, for this one, I'm going to drop down the highlights. Let's increase the shadows. And let's go on Clarity. Let's increase the texture. Here we go. Let's drop down the vibrance a little bit and let's go over here on U and saturation and uh, let's see. Let's drop down the saturation for orange, red and maybe let's change the hue. Maybe somewhere around here and maybe yep. let's make it something like that. And let's key. Let's you know what? Let's go over here. Let's increase the exposure a little bit. Maybe somewhere around here and let's keep it like that. And let's click on OK. So this is what we got. And let's make a copy just for safety and let's drop down the, uh, let's turn off the visibility for bottom layer and let's click on that copy layer and go to filter. And let's go for filter gallery. And from here, let's apply the half tone and let's increase the crown. Let's drop down the crown past a little bit. Yeah, maybe, yep, let's keep it like that, I guess. Yep, let's keep it like that and let's click on OK. So this is what I got. And let's go over here and let's add a gradient map. Right. And then from here, let's change the gradient color. So let's change the darker color to maybe kind of darker blue or whatever color you want to add. I like to go for maybe up something like that. And let's add a one more color somewhere in between. And for this one, let's go for a kind of a little lighter blue. Yep. Or here. here we go. And let's change uh, its position. Yep, maybe somewhere around here. And I guess the color is too bright. Let's go for a little darker here. Yeah. Here we go. And let's move this white a little bit. Yep. Somewhere around here. And maybe let's change this white a little off white, I guess. Yep. Maybe something, something like that. And let's click on. Okay. So this is what we got. And let's add some few text. And for this gradient, let's clip this gradient uh, to this specific layer so that uh, this gonna affect this layer only. And let's change the color for this text. Let's go for, yeah, kind of, yeah, I'll, I'll just go for kind of this color. Here we go. Now, you know what, like, let's, uh, let's add some shapes. So let's go over here. Let's click on custom shapes and I'll just like to add some stars. So let's click on that and let's change the color to red color. 
and uh, let's create few stars right over here and uh let's keep it right around here alt and drag let's make a copy let's make a one more copy uh, let's add one more maybe one more let's keep all the layers inside a group so select all the stars and make a press ctrl and g and let's rename it as a you know, it's a stars group and then let's add a one more text all then drag ctrl t let's add a rotation let's make it a little smaller here we go and let's name it as so let's make a one more copy alt and drag here we go and let's select both layer let's move it down a little bit maybe somewhere over here here we go and let's add a rectangle let's keep it on top and let's change the color to i guess let's keep it white i guess if yeah. let's keep it like that for now and then let's make a star let's make a one more copy of that star group control j press control in t let's make it smaller here we go let's keep it right around here let's move all the way to the top maybe let's make it some more smaller i guess here we go and let's make a one more copy control j control t let's move it maybe Somewhere around here. Here we go. And let's add a circle in the background. Just like so. Now let's keep it all the way to the bottom. And let's change the color to yep. Let's keep it like that. And let's make it a little bigger. Here we go. Just like so. And uh, let's create a layer max. Let's uh, fill this layer max with black color. And go to brush. And let's go for uh, this brush. And using a white color. Let's reveal some of these parts back. Uh, like so. here we go and let's let's drag and drop a texture right over here and let's create clipping max and let's change the blending mode to soft light control t let's move it somewhere around here and you just add a little bit of textures and i think it looks better so let's keep it like that and let's drag and drop this texture one more time and let's keep it just right above that text layer and again let's do the same thing right click create clipping max let's change the blending mode to soft light okay create clipping max yep and let's make uh, one more copy control chain and let's create a clipping max control c let's move it right around here and let's add a uh, one more ticks
There we go. And then I'll change it to kind of red color. All right, and then let's add, let's do some few adjustments. So let's move this somewhere, maybe right around here. Yes, and then let's add a one more text on top. And let's add like few half tone textures. So let's go on very bottom, create a new layer, go to brush, and I'm going to use few half tone brushes. So let's see. Uh, yep, I'll just go with this brush, and let's change the color overlay to a little off white, I guess, maybe something like this. And let's add like few textures right here. And then let's create a new layer and let's add a few texture on bottom too. Here we go. And let's go for another half tone. Uh, yep, I'll just go with this one. And let's add a uh, one more texture right around here. And let's add a one more texture on the very bottom. So let's drag and drop this texture right over here. And let's make it a little bigger, just like so. And let's keep it all the way to the bottom. And again, let's add a gradient map. And for this white, let's go for a little off-white, I guess. Maybe a little more brighter. Yep, just, just like, just like so. Yep, let's keep it like that and let's click and OK. So yep, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then you guys take care, be safe and be creative. Bye bye.